Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Sir Gama and this video is a part of my YouTube video series all about music business for independent artists. So if you haven't seen any video of my YouTube series yet, I want to tell you that I have a lot of information that independent artists are lacking in. Basically music labels and the big owners of the companies like TCD, Spinning Records, uh, UMG, and a lot of other music labels which are owning the world's music right now are experts at all of these information but independent artists do not have an, an idea about it. There is a lot of stuff you want to dig in for including how to make money from your music, how much royalties are there, how many types of royalties are there, which organizations are supposed to pay you money if you are releasing your music. So if you want to dig in all of these details, please check the link here in the cards and I'll suggest that you watch my whole video series from top till end in series to get the maximum out of it. With that being said, let's head on to today's video's topic which is Nielsen Sound Scan. And this might be a new word for a lot of people who are releasing music and you would not have even heard about it earlier. But Nielsen Sound Scan is the thing which lets your music go into the billboard charts. And I'm pretty sure you must have heard what are billboard charts. So basically, when you release a song and it is public on all the streaming platforms around the world, like all the major platforms basically, Apple Music, iTunes and Spotify, YouTube Music, everywhere. It's released, but it is not being scanned to be placed in billboard charts. Now you must be thinking you are not that famous and your songs are not streamed in that amount that you can make it to the billboard charts, but that's not the point here. The point is that your songs firstly should be eligible to be placed in billboards. So the billboard is basically scanning the sales of your music that how much it is being sold and the number of streams, the number of album sales are scanned by billboards and then you are actually eligible to be placed there. And if you are thinking that you cannot be placed anytime soon in your career or even in the later area, then you are in the wrong business. So you should have a positive mindset you are here because you can make it and that's why we are doing all of this stuff because when your career blows up in future you know you do not have to learn all of these new things so you know everything about the business and you have prepared for it when your career blows up in future yeah so nielsen sound scan there are two types of registrations in nielsen sound scan first is title registration and the second is isrc registration ISRC is International Standard Recording Code, which is basically a social security number or an Aadhaar card of a song, which is an identity of the song. And if you do not know about ISRCs, what are they and why you should own them. And if you are from India, you can own your own personal ISRC codes, which are registered specifically to your name. And if you do not have any idea about it, please hit the card which is popping up here and I have a specific video dedicated to ISRC codes and how you can own them for free in India. I don't know why but no one in the music industry is talking about this. So please check out the video from the cards here and let's head on to the system and see what Nielsen SoundScan does. So Nielsen SoundScan basically scans your all the sales and all the streams throughout US and Canada. So it's not done worldwide. If you want to register for different continents and different countries to give your songs the platinum card or the gold card like if your song is sold at 500,000 units then you have a gold uh, placard for your song and if it is sold 1 million times in US and Canada then you get a platinum placard for your song but this is scanned only for US and Canada if you register in SoundScan. For every other country and other continents, you have different types of organizations you need to register in. But Billboard is one of the biggest in the world, so we are concerned about that only right now. And for that, you have to register the title of the song and ISRC of the song separately in Nielsen SoundScan. And let's head on to the system and see how to do it. Okay, so right now we are here in the system. So first of all, you have to search Nielsen SoundScan. ISRC registration it will come in the suggestions so now you have to click the first link here ISRC registration so this is the page you will land on so these are basic details uh, which are self-explanatory but we'll fill a form just for the sake so from here you have to select the country either US or Canada or both so obviously we'll select both and the good part about it is it is free you do not have to pay anything to register and they'll scan all your sales and streams in us and canada and if you're eligible you'll be placed on billboard charts and now the title of the song so let's uh, register my song which is upcoming in uh, some time which depends on my dop dada which is abhay sharda when he'll edit my music video then i'll be releasing that song and the name of the song is 
पहली बरसात यू जस्ट हर्ड इम सेंग कट एंड द नेम ऑफ द आर्टिस्ट इज सर गामा विच इज मी एंड देन द रिलीज डेट ऑफ द सॉन्ग अबे दादा विल टेल अस बट एज ऑफ नाउ वील कीप इट थर्टी एथ सेप्टेम्बर लेट सपोज एंड देन द लेबल लेट सपोज एक्स वाई जी लेबल लेबल एब्रीविएशन इफ देर इज एनी एंड ऑल्सो दिस इज सेल्फ एक्सप्लेनेटरी बट इफ देर आर स्टार और एस्ट्रिक्स इन रेड कलर्स इन फ्रंट ऑफ एनी ऑफ दीज ऑप्शन देन इट इज मैंडेटरी बट अफ इट इज नॉट इट्स ऑप्शनल या देन यू हैव टू गो टू द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन कंपनी बाई विच कंपनी इट हैज बिन डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड सो इट से इज नन सोनी यूनिवर्सल वॉन ब्रोज एंड इंडी सो बेसिकली ऑल द मेजर फोर लेबल्स ऑफ द थ्री लेबल्स ऑफ द वर्ल्ड विच आर हेयर इफ यू हैव रिलीज अ सॉन्ग वाई आर दैम यू हैव टू सिलेक्ट दैम एल्स यू हैव टू सिलेक्ट इंडी लाइक इफ यू आर रिलीजिंग वाई आर डिस्ट्रोकेड और ट्यून कोर और एनी अदर डिस्ट्रीब्यूटर then you have to select indie and also if you are looking for a good distributor and if you want to see what distributor is right for you then i have a specific dedicated video for that as well you can see that here in the cards and uh, i have like compared five or six major distributors which are the best right now and the pros and cons of everyone you can see that in that video with the budgeting also like depending on your budget then next we have isrc code so basically what is isrc code ISRC code is a alphanumeric number of 12 digits with a registrant code which is particularly dedicated to the artist or the label or the distributor depends who has been providing the code for your song you have to put that ISRC code here let's suppose for me it is something like this it doesn't have any special character so excuse me for that then the price like what is the price that you have been selling your songs for so it says invalid isrc code but it is just for the reference sake so yeah so the price is at which you have been selling your songs on itunes and apple music so you want to check through your distributor when you release that song what is the amount that you put in when you want to sell that song in apple music and itunes yeah so you have to put that song let's suppose that is $1.99 as of now and then you have to put the upc of the song upc of the song you can also get from your distributor only let's suppose this is my upc and then the track number if it is an album so album contains like more than 6 or 7 tracks yeah so if this is an album then you have to put the number of the track in which it is lying in the album like if it's it's the first song if it's the second third fourth whichever but this is a single this is not an album so i'll just put one here and then you have to select the genres which apply to this product and my song right now here is look you can see a lot of genres are there my song is pop and it's i guess pop only maybe indie if they offer an option of indie i'll select other dance electronic obviously yeah that's it i guess so your contact information whoever is filling this uh, form you have to provide your contact information if there is any misleading information you have put or if there is anything which is contradictory they will contact the person who filled this form so i'll put my name here and email address which is let's suppose this and the last thing that they need is the phone number this yeah so then you have to just put verify and submit i won't do that now because this is just for reference sake and uh, you should fill this isrc registration like nielsen sound scan registration after you release your song not before yeah so just hit verify and submit and then you're good to go nothing else to do we just have to do one more registration which is nielsen sound scan title registration so right now we registered our isrc number to sound scan we have to register the title of the song also to the sound scan so for that you have to go into the google search and type nielsen sound scan title registration you will get that in the suggestions and the first link here you have to click and this is the form for title registration the same thing country register for we'll select both format type it's a single and the title of the song which was pehli barsaat when i type this title i remember my dop dada abe dada and the artist is Sir Gama, release date again, 30th September. Ah, uh, he's smiling from behind the camera. The label, let's suppose this, and distribution company Indie. See, all of the details are same. Just a little bit of difference will come here. 
So here you have to click add new UPC EAN code. So you have to select it's either UPC or EAN, but in 99% cases you will be having a UPC. You just have to go to your distributor and check what is the UPC, copy that and paste it here. Let's suppose it's this for me right now and the price then you have to put in the price the price should be same both in isrc and title registration so please keep that into account we'll put here one dollar 99 cents for a single and configuration details is it a lp 12 inch like a vinyl single or it is a cd single or it is a digital single and that also i guess in 99 percent or even more uh, in 99 percent cases it will be a digital single then you have to just put add and they'll add this and it's invalid right now because we put fake information, but if you'll put the correct information, it'll be added. This is just for reference sakes, yeah? Then you have to select the genres, which I guess if we have here, yeah, we have, oh, here, here are lesser genres than we had in ISRC registrations. So the closest one we have is dance electronics. Then again, the contact information of the person who is filling the form. The next one, email self-explanatory things and the next is your contact information and then verify and submit and then you're good to go yeah so why do we do this so this is one of the things that i mentioned in my other videos you have to do as soon as you release a song this is nothing that will help you in your initial career phase but if your song and i hope it will blows up in future or if your career blows up in future you need to do these things because that is the thing which will help you to go into the billboard charts maybe it's like top 10,000 if not even top 100 but you will be placed in billboard charts only if you have registered in nielsen soundscan isrc and nielsen soundscan title registrations so that's it for today's video and if you think i'm cool enough and you're cool enough please follow me on instagram and you can see my username somewhere here and the link in the description if you like the content and the information that i gave in this video please like and subscribe the video it helps the channel a lot and keeps me motivated to make these videos a lot of time and effort and money is being put in this video so please head on to my video playlist which is all about music business for independent artists i assure you you will get more than 90 percent of the things that you need to sustain as an independent artist and there's a lot of stuff coming in future after i finish this uh, music business video there'll be a whole playlist in which i'll teach you mixing mastering i'll break down the songs which i make and release and the tips and tricks that i use to make my mixes clear and the sources that i use in my songs and composition tricks production tips and a lot of stuff is on the way if you want to stream to my original music you'll get the link in the description and if you want to support me as a creator you'll get a link of buy me a coffee also which helps me and motivates me to keep making this stuff for you which i'm giving away for free and i've learned all of this stuff in past four or five years by spending a lot of money like thousands of dollars and five years of my life and i'm giving it away for free to the community via youtube channel so that's it and see you in another video another friday see you bye bye peace out take care